Well, hello YouTube. I'm Paul, and welcome again to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to do a recipe that I remember my mom making. We always had on hand for the different, especially around Christmas, but different holidays, called angel wings. It's a real light, like kind of a pastry cookie type thing that resemble kind of like an angel's wings. You put powdered sugar on it. It's not overly sweet, but they're really addicting, and I just love them. So I'm gonna, it's a super easy recipe. I just wanted to share it with you guys. Um, anybody can make it, and it's just real common, no fancy ingredients. So it's right up our lazy man kitchen kind of uh, dish. So let's jump right into it. And first thing let's do is get some uh, like canola oil, vegetable oil, whatever you want to use. Get that heating um, on your stove top because we're going to be frying these strips of dough. Alrighty then, the first thing we're going to start with is get a large bowl and a smaller dark colored bowl and we want to crack three eggs in it and I did this so you can see if you get a piece of eggshell in there it really shows against the dark. So there's one and here is two Three. There we go. And then I'm going to add some milk and I'm going to whisk that up. Alright. To my eggs. I'm going to add about a quarter cup of milk or so. And whisk that up. Yeah, because we really want, and it's hard to get the flour exact, you'll see what I mean, but uh, you just, the point is you got to roll the dough very thin, very, very thin. It's hard to get it thin enough, so um, having a little bit of a more runny dough than a real thick, hard dough will make it a little bit easier in the end, so. Okay, into this I'm going to add three tablespoons, can be heaping, don't got to be exact, three big tablespoons of sugar. Then I want to add a whole teaspoon of vanilla. There we go. And I want to do one and a half teaspoons, so I'm going to use the half, do three of them. Of baking powder. Just like so. And we'll whisk that up. Alrighty. Okay, now the last ingredient we gotta stir in there, knead in, whatever you wanna say. Got two cups of flour there. Line this up. And then the fun begins. The trick is to roll it really thin. My mom had a real nice wood, uh, probably about two foot by three foot piece of wood that she would use to roll things out on. I guess you could just do it on your countertop. I'm just going to use a little cookie sheet that I flour up a little. So now we want to knead this up a little. See, you're going to pick some up just from, from here. It's looking pretty good. Okay, so now we want to probably take a third of it. Is that right? About a third, maybe? I suppose it's about close. We got to be exact. And we're just going to roll this out. Okay, so if you take a little flour and just flour up your rolling pin, 
will make life a little easier for you. And we'll begin. Like I say, there's no real secret shape to them. It doesn't have to be anything exact. Just thin. As thin as you can go. This is coming out nice and thin. As you can see. Because when you put it in the hot grease, it's going to like thicken some. Firm and thicken. So, and the whole thing, you know, angel wings, you're thinking light. <coughs> no light. So, I mean, it doesn't got to be paper thin, don't get me wrong. Now, a lot of guys have, or gals, probably, you have nice pastry wheels, and it puts a nice uh, cut, cut edge on there, but that's alright. This is the nothing fancy way of doing it. Something like that. They can be identical, they don't have to be exact or anything. And then uh, let's go for something right along there for length. Right, that gives you an idea. So, like some of them, I remember in the old days, they were kind of like cupped over, something like that. So, the whole thinking is uh, somewhere so that it'll catch a little bit of the <laughs> extra powdered sugar that we're going to top them with. Nothing, nothing fancy, you know. If you can get it, that's fine. If you can't, you can't. Something like that. So, I'm going to take those over and fry them up. We'll go over there now. Okay, there's my canola oil. You can tell I've already cooked a batch or two in it. Um, that's some of the flour in that that comes off. So, Anyway, this is how you can tell if it's about right temp if you don't have thermometer, of course. If you see it smoking, it's too hot. If you drop in some dough... If you can see it there, if it's like uh, the bubbles are coming off of it and it starts like floating like that, you know, it's about right. These, yeah. Just throw some of them in there. And of course you want to be extremely careful with hot grease. It's about 150 degrees hotter than boiling water, so it does a whole lot of more damage to you a whole lot quicker. So now we want to get another separate plate with some paper towel to take them out in. We're talking maybe a minute or so aside maybe. You'll see when they get a little bit of Start to just get golden. So I'll pop them out. Flip some of these bad boys over here. See, even the uh, flat strips end up kind of like making a little cupped. So it's all good. Come on, <laughs> fall over. There you go. See, like this one was just flat, but you can see he's made like a, a little cup himself to get some of that powdered sugar. Alright, that looks about right. Take these out and make room for another batch. So we want to make sure that, you know, they're kind of golden, 
You're probably looking at a couple minutes per side. So four or five minutes in the oil maybe. You can see they sort of start to change color a little bit. Get a little golden. Alright, <laughs> last step's a fun step. We need some powdered sugar, confectioner's sugar, however you want to call it. Just put a dusting in the bottom of our thing here. And put some of these in for a layer. Okay, what's that? Something like that. This is what you do when you're eating them too. You'll see, you see what I mean? You get some nice sugar in some of those holes like that. Super easy. Super addicting eating these. Because they're not like super sweet, like a chocolate cake, maybe an apple pie, so it's more like a, what I think of as a coffee kind of dessert, to have with the coffee and stuff. There you go. And, uh, yeah, can't be beat. So you see a little bit kind of clings to it, not too much. So that's why it's not, you don't feel too guilty in it. Hmm. Good stuff. All right, you two. Well, they say the proof's in the pudding. Here's what they look like. Good. Perfect with a cup of coffee. Fun thing about making that, it's like, um, takes you back to the good memories when you were a little boy. Just a little kid enjoying those in, the, in your mom's kitchen, so. Hope you'll try it out. Hope you have fun with it. I certainly did making it for you. Thank you for supporting the channel. And I'll see you soon.